All right, so I just went ahead and pulled into the uh, tackle shop or the bait and tackle shop. We're gonna grab some live shrimp today, probably about four dozen. And uh, I think we are gonna totally, totally focus live shrimp today. I haven't done a full video, just mainly focusing that. I'm gonna give you guys a tutorial on uh, what I do, what I think works best. So I will show you guys that today. Um, we're gonna be fishing redfish, trout, sheep's head, mangrove snapper, maybe a snook, who knows. And uh, I'm probably gonna bring a fish or two home today. I grab some ice and I put it in the bucket and we are gonna go ahead and do that. Let's uh, let's go grab the live shrimp and then uh, get started. Alrighty, here we go. We're on the water. Not sure how much I'm gonna be using the big camera today because the mic was giving me issues, but who knows, might be all GoPro today, might be a little bit of everything, so. Alrighty, so we are finally at the spot we are gonna throw around these docks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my live shrimp right here. He's, he's on the smaller side, probably three inches or so. And then I got a red jig head right here. This is a quarter ounce. I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna rig it right through the tail, just like that. So he's gonna sit, he's gonna land on the bottom and he's gonna sit with his head up just like that. And uh, hopefully that's what the uh, sheep's head, the redfish, trout probably, um, maybe even a snook are gonna see that and then uh, just pluck them right off the bottom. And uh, it looks like we're gonna be throwing docks, maybe some, some mangroves, a rock structure. I'm gonna try to stick to all the uh, structure-oriented spots and uh, so I can find the sheep's head and uh, those mangrove snapper as well. So let's, uh, let's get to it. All right, so we got our shrimp on. First dock right here. Let's flip it under there. See what the heck we can find. Oh, we're on. We're going to right into him. There's a better one. A little bit better one. Still not a big mangrove. We got to get those like 15 inches. That's what I'm talking about. But nah, this guy's not big enough. Oh, I just got thumped so hard. Oh, and just another little dink. Come on. Good, he shook off. Little dink mangrove snappers. Well, at least we're finding them, so can't complain there, but gotta start finding the ones that are actually decent size. He just got thumped. Yeah, he did. Oh! I pulled off him, dude. Probably a little fish, because he was probably just holding the shrimp, not the hook. Oh, I just got thumped so hard. Oh, what is this? Is this a mangrove? Because he might be a keeper. Oh yeah, he's definitely a keeper. I think. Whew, that's a decent one. See how long he is. He's gonna be close. Trump Mon Zero. That's a 12 inch mangrove snapper right there. Let me just double check. I believe they gotta be 10. They might have to be 12. Let me double check real quick. Mangrove snapper regulations. 10 inch minimum size mangrove. All right, yeah, 10 inch. All right, so that's our first keeper of the day. He's 12 inches. I'm just gonna drop him in the uh, cooler here in a second. All right, he's on ice. Let's uh, see if we can get one more fish for the day.
Oh man. Oh yes, 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 yes. Ugh. What's up, guy? Look at this guy. Alrighty, so there's our first uh, actual fish of the day. He's a redfish, bright blue tail on him. Uh, guys probably can't see them. He's got two spots, and uh, it actually looks like he's got someone's leader hanging out of his mouth. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that out um, for him and then uh, go ahead and release him here. So awesome fish, good fish on live shrimp, and uh, let's release him. All right, so we're gonna get our jig head out first. That popped out easy, and let's see what else he's got here. All right, so it looks like he's gut hooked. That's unfortunate. <sighs> so somebody recently gut hooked this guy, so I'm just gonna take him and I'm just gonna trim this leader as much as I can and go ahead and release this guy. Since he seems like he's doing okay, he was able to eat my shrimp okay, he should be okay here. I trimmed off about two feet of leader right there. I'm gonna go ahead and release him. I could keep him, but I think he's gonna be okay even with that hook. That hook should rust out. And it seems like he's doing okay because he ate my shrimp. That's the only reason I'm uh, releasing him right now. It seems like he's gonna be fine. <sighs> All right, so one thing I've noticed about fishing live shrimp is like, I feel like everyone always wants to get those hand-picked like five, six inches or whatever, um, which sometimes those are necessary for tarpon fishing and other things. But I feel like with shrimp's head, or oh, I'm sorry, with sheep's head, uh, redfish, trout they're like these inshore species it doesn't really matter what size the shrimp is they'll eat a one inch shrimp they'll eat a freaking three four inch shrimp so just keep that in mind next time you guys go and get shrimp i mean this is all my preference but i'm i think i just gotta eat yeah I'm eating. oh and i lost him oh i suck at this mangrove snapper absolutely destroyed me oh getting defeated right now by these little mangrove snapper that just nip and nip and nip at the shrimp getting outplayed and also one other thing I like doing is when I'm fishing docks and mangroves and stuff like that with these uh, live shrimp something that just sits on the bottom I like to just toss it and then let's sink down just for about I don't know 20 seconds or so and then lift it and move it to another spot I do that because a lot of times um, if you leave it there you know too long the uh catfish will get to it um and they don't seem to find it if you if you lift it and move it within 15 seconds 20 seconds oh i'm eight. Oh my god i just got thumped hard there he is <sighs> ah! <laughs> little guy holy crap i just hooked myself it's a little six inch uh mangrove but but what i was saying is that the catfish have hard time finding it when you're just moving it here and there in the sheep's head and uh Mangrove always usually hit it pretty much immediately as it gets down to the bottom. Oh, I got thumped really good right there. Nice sheep's head that just stole the bait right off the freaking jig head. There's a fish. Is he big though? Absolutely not. He's close to that 10 inch mark, but not quite big enough. Probably nine inches. See ya. Killing me on this dock. I'm trying to outsmart him, but the, there we go. Feels like a decent one. Eh. Let me just measure him just to see how big he actually is. I don't think he's big enough, but 
think he's probably just another nine incher. Yep, nine inches right on the dot. Seems to be the freaking size of mangrove snapper, right? They're all like this size. Just gotta weed through them. There they go, start bumping it. Got him. Ah. There's just little dinks. On to the next stock. So many little guys. I think this is the sixth of the day. There he goes. I am going to uh, go ahead and call it right there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something from it. If you guys did learn something, comment down below what you guys learned. And uh, be sure to uh, give me some feedback. Let me know what you guys thought of the video. Let me know uh, what you guys thought of my techniques for catching uh, fish on live shrimp. And uh, I'm about to hit this dock here. But if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys, uh, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to uh, hit the subscribe button. If you haven't done so already, it's right below. It's free. It's a red button. It says subscribe. Make it say subscribed. And uh, I think that's it for the day. It's uh, the wind's starting to pick up just a little bit here, and uh, it's just I don't feel like being out here. I'm out of shrimp, so we are about to go home. Um, I think that's all I got for today, guys. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video.